Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and if not, well, hi, my name's Jillian. Thanks for clicking on this video today. If you're new, make sure to like this video and subscribe down below. Today I wanted to do like a little chatty kind of video because I don't do these often and I feel like it's about time I do more. This video is a little more personal. It's kind of meant just so you can know me a little better. This video went around like years ago for like a really long time. It's definitely an OG type of video, like the get to know me tag. Um, so I took some questions from that original tag and I also took some of those and kind of reworded them so they're a little more fitted towards me and I also came up with a couple on my own. It's about 15 questions, some like more basic, some more in depth nothing crazy just questions so you can kind of get to know me a little bit better um, I made a video similar to this when I first made my channel it was actually my welcome to my channel like intro video and it was extremely awkward like more than how I am now and I didn't like talk about some things that I am talking about in this video so I wanted to make like an updated version of it if you like look in my description boxes of every video there's actually like a little paragraph describing me and like for anyone new and under that little like description I have that video linked so I was like if people are clicking on this I may as well just do an updated one, if you can hear noise from outside, I'm staying in the city in South Africa right now in Cape Town. So we have our window open because it's a nice day here. It's like almost fall time here. So if you hear anything, I apologize. I also figured out that this is like the perfect filming spot because you can kind of see the city and it's like really nice light. So enjoy the background. <laughs> Obviously, you may know some of these things from like my vlogs and just me talking about them here and there but I've never like talked about these things in one full video and I don't always go in depth so I figured it was time and I'm also at 100 subscribers so thanks guys uh, welcome if you're new so that's also why I wanted to make this video because there has been a lot of new people on my channel, so I figured it was about time. Oh, and I'm also on like day five hair, so it's staying up. So I apologize, this is like a casual video. I'll start with some simple questions and then we'll move into deeper questions, if you will. So the first question is, did you hear that? Is Fun fact. I've always wanted to say this in a video, but I've never got it on camera. At noon or 12 o'clock p.m. every day in Cape Town, a cannon goes off, and I forget why. I'll have to ask Tyron, but that's so cool. I hope you could hear that, because I've always wanted to get that in a video. The first question is, where did you grow up and where do you currently live? So. I feel like I never talk about home on my channel because I've been traveling ever since I made my videos pretty much, but I am from Rhode Island, the USA. So little Rhodey, yes, it does exist. It's a real state and it is a beautiful one at that. It's the ocean state. So uh, we have beautiful beaches and I am a New England girl to the core. <laughs> I love the East Coast. Um, it's so beautiful. I'll insert some pictures so you can kind of see like what my home is like, but I will be making more videos there once I go home and I'm really excited to show you um, because it is beautiful and I kind of started to appreciate it more once I left because I'm from a small town so it's kind of hard to like, I don't know, appreciate it when you think that there's so much more to see in the world, which there is, but so where do I currently live? Um, not really in a place. I'm currently in Cape Town, South Africa, like I said. Uh, I'll be here for like the next month, but I do plan on going home after this temporarily for a bit. We'll see what happens in the future. So the second question is how tall are you? I find this question kind of funny because whenever I edit my vlogs in particular, 
I always notice that my legs look extremely long, like just abnormally long, which is funny because I'm only 5'3", so if you thought I was taller, I'm not. I'm actually kind of short. <laughs> when were you born? So my birthday is January 17th uh 2001 so i am 19 years old do you have any siblings yes i do i have a little brother we are like 12 13 years apart so i've never shown him in a video and i probably never will but he's the cutest and i love him dearly <laughs> we share a parent so he's like my half brother are you single or taken? This one is obvious if you have been here before. I am taken, I have a boyfriend. He is from Cape Town, South Africa, which is why we're here. If you wanna see him more, go look at my past videos. He's been in like every vlog pretty much. He like makes random appearances um, and we will be doing long distance when I go home. So if any of you were wondering, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Where do you go to school? So I currently, do not go to school at the moment. I graduated high school in April of 2019 from an online high school, which I find kind of funny because I did online high school for three years and now everyone is doing it, like because of this whole quarantine thing. So if I had made my channel like two years ago, nobody would have watched like my online school videos, but now it's like a trend going around, which is kind of funny. But I graduated in 2019 from Penn Foster High School. Um, it's an online high school. It's, I think, like the main school itself is located in Pennsylvania, but it's online. And I have not gone to college yet, but I am going in the fall. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it much right now because I wanna make like an entire separate video about it, um, but I guess this year was an unintentional gap year. I didn't plan on taking one, but I did. Are you a morning or a night person? So growing up, I was always a night person. I read all night long growing up, like when I was in school, so I never got any sleep because I was reading books constantly and I just didn't like going to bed early. It was always a struggle for me to wake up in the morning. I was one of those people who was like five minutes before I had to get out the door, <laughs> and then I got up. Um, and then when I was working, like right when I started working and up until like I left for traveling, I was working the same job and my schedule was like from 3 p.m. to close and close would be any time between 12, one or two. I worked like the dinner shift at a restaurant, so. I never knew when I would get out. So of course I was just naturally a night person because I worked so late. But more recently, like since we've been traveling, but more so in the past month, I wanna say, I've become a morning person. I love mornings, I really do value them. I enjoy waking up with the sun. Funny how things change. <laughs> how many countries have you traveled to? So if you are new and haven't seen my videos, I've been traveling for the past seven months. So I have been to 10 countries. I actually never have left the US up until I started traveling full time like this. So a bit of an adjustment, but I love it. Um, I guess I can list all the countries I've been to. So South Africa, Turkey, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Switzerland, Spain, and then over to Indonesia, Vietnam, and Thailand. Yeah, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, so we're just gonna keep going to more countries. <laughs> if you wanna see my travel vlogs, I made an entire playlist for them, and if you wanna see just like more pictures and like things that I may have not shown in those vlogs, cause I didn't vlog every place I went, I made highlights on my Instagram for every place I went to. So my Instagram is just at jillian.daigle. Go follow it if you wanna just stalk my travel highlights and pictures. How many tattoos and piercings do you have? So I only have my first hole pierced. I want my second hole and my cartilage done. 
but I think that'll be the extent of piercings. And then tattoos, I actually don't have any at the moment, but my boyfriend has tattoos, my friends have tattoos, like all of them. And every time I see them, I want one and I know exactly what I would get. I do plan on getting tattoos. I just have been putting it off. I think I'm a little scared if I'm being honest, but you, like I'm sure in the next like year you're gonna see a vlog where it's like getting my first tattoo. Um, that's not a hint that I'm getting one like now, but obviously we're in quarantine, but at some point I will be getting one. I know exactly what I want, but I probably will only do a couple, just like the piercings, and that'll be the extent of my tattoos and piercings. What are my favorite workouts? If I'm just doing workouts at home or even in the gym, I really like leg and booty workouts. I just enjoy doing them. Recently, if you've seen my vlogs, I've been into running and yoga, so all things I can do at home. Um, once this quarantine is over, I really would like to try more classes. I really enjoy boxing. I've done it before, so I really want to do more of that once I get home. Um, I'm a big outdoorsy person. I grew up swimming, and I also love hiking. So my family, half of my family is from like the New Hampshire, Massachusetts area up that part of New England so one of our favorite things was is to hike together so you know I've hiked a lot of mountains in the White Mountains just all the different mountains in New Hampshire so I can't wait to do that again once I get home because I do enjoy it and it is a workout um, this one is a uh, more casual tea or coffee so when I was first writing out these questions, I said like 1000% coffee, you know, I love my Keurig, French press, hot coffee, iced coffee, lattes, cappuccinos, espresso, like any coffee I love, but um, so like 10 out of 10 I'm choosing coffee, but the past couple days actually we have been having black tea and I actually kind of like it. I think it's just this whole staying inside thing. It's kind of cozy, so I never liked tea though up until this point, but we're changing. There's people yelling outside. Not shocked we're in a city. Favorite YouTubers? So I answer this in an upcoming vlog because it was it's like a chatty vlog. I was just talking about it, but um, I've been watching Tara Michelle for years and years, and she is like my all time favorite love her vlogs it's just always good time it's just always good time there i said that in my vlog but it is like there's just, it's always entertaining she makes me want to like buy a home and decorate it i don't know <laughs> just like chill um hannah elise i recently found she's hilarious she does more like college lifestyle vlogs thrift flips love her stuff kaylin nicholson i really like her mindset She's a big yogi and I really like those videos. She just has like a really calming vibe to all her videos. And there's always like, always very intentional, I feel like. Lily Rako, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. She's like a college lifestyle YouTuber as well. Um, her videos are very calming and if I want like a longer vlog, I like to watch her stuff as well as Molly Bailey. I really like her fitness videos. I really just like her vlogs recently i've been watching alicia marie and her sister ashley um i started watching them years ago but then i stopped and then picked back up again during vlogmas because i really like their vlogs are very entertaining um especially now during quarantine they have like the whole like there's like four girls in the house and they all like are so different they bring something to the table it's all so it's always so funny and it's like they all have channels so it's just it's funny to see like different perspectives. I don't know. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I always look forward to it. Renee Amberg, I really like her productivity videos. And she just moved to New York, so that's exciting. Michelle Reed, I really like her content. Um, the Content Bug, so Katherine Manning, she does a lot of YouTube tips. So I really like that. And also Erin On Demand. She's very like girl boss, growing your brand and business type of videos. So 
I like a mix, kind of. They're more lifestyle people, all of them, but yeah, those are just to name a few. There's plenty more, but I'm not, I'm not gonna spend like this whole video talking about YouTubers, but clearly I love YouTube, so. Have any books changed your life? So when I was thinking about this question, I kept thinking of the book, How to Be a Badass by Jen Sincero. So I wouldn't say it's like life-changing by any means. I wouldn't say any book I've read is necessarily life-changing, but whenever I think of my personal growth and mindset change and just really focusing on my goals, um, during the start of when I decided to do all that was in 2019, like May-ish, so like last year this time, and that's when I read this book and I really loved it. It was definitely like, was helping my mindset when I was, wanted to do all of these things, I guess, if that makes any sense. So 2019 was a big year for me. I, you know, I picked up a second job. I quit those jobs. I started traveling full time. I left home and the country for the first time. So many things like happened. <laughs> so many lifestyle changes happened when I was reading this book. So. I definitely would recommend it. Um, I love reading, if you didn't know that. It's one of my favorite things. What are your life goals? So this is definitely, I, I guess, a deeper question. Overall, I want to be living a happy and healthy lifestyle. So that means mentally, physically, and continuing to accomplish my goals. So I never want to settle, in a sense. like. Just, I don't ever want to be the person to say like, oh, you know, my time has passed. I can't do this or I can't do that. Like, I don't want to ever do that. I want to keep growing and I want to help and inspire others in any way I can. So like, whether it's through my videos or like being there in person to help and inspire people. And I also never want to stop learning. Always learning and to never stop learning and to always be open to new things. So that's something that I value, but more specifically, I want to graduate college. Um, I never thought I was gonna go to college, so now I want to graduate college. Um, I want to be monetized on YouTube, so hopefully that comes sooner, sooner rather than later. Um, I want to get an apartment or a home, like probably together. This one I see happening soon. I don't have like specific plans before you get too excited but i don't see this as like a long-term goal i see it more short term i would love to live in a city for some time so since traveling i've stayed in a lot of cities i'm in a city right now but like i said earlier i'm from a very small town if you know new england you know it's full of small towns which is great but I would love to spend some time in a city. I really enjoy cities. I think that's why I enjoy Cape Town so much because it's right by the beach and it is a city and then like you look out the window and the mountain is right there that you can go and climb. So I like, the, I like it all, I guess, but I wanna live in a city. I don't know for how long, but, or which city, I have some in mind maybe have my own business of some sort and become an entrepreneur that'd be really cool to be working for myself at some point obviously i want to get married um have a few kids in the future <laughs> and then the last thing is i want to be financially stable and comfortable um i'm not really afraid to talk about money on my channel and then the last question we're finally here <laughs> I made this question up because I thought it would be a great way to summarize this video and to summarize me and just quick things to know about me, what I like, um, and because it'd be really funny to see how things change over time whenever I watch this video back again, you know, because you're always changing as a person. But the question is, what are some things you love and enjoy? So I like this question. It's very positive. Of course. To state the obvious, I love spending time with my friends and family. I think this is just like normal, most people like this. Um, I love date nights with my boyfriend or just like just spending time together. I love traveling with him. Um, I love girls days, so you know, shopping. I love shopping. I haven't been shopping in forever though <laughs> because of traveling, so I've been trying to save money, but I can't wait to shop again. <laughs> Clearly I have an issue. Um, 
I love shopping. I love getting my nails done with the girls. I love coffee dates and lunch dates with the girls. Just like spending time with the girls. It's just always a good time. I can't wait to see my friends. I haven't seen them since I left the US, so it's been a while. Miss you guys. I've recently loved working out. I've been doing it consistently. So working out, yoga, running, um, healthy eating. If you've seen my videos, you know I eat pretty well now, especially in this quarantine. We've been trying to eat the best we can, get all the nutrients, keep our immune systems up and running, you know? So obviously I love traveling. I don't think that's ever gonna stop. I love exploring new places and meeting new people from those places and talking to them about, you know, where they're from. I love hiking. I love the mountains. I love cities. I love the beach. I grew up by the beach, you know, Rhode Island. So um, it's like basically my home. <laughs> love sunsets and sunrises. I don't have a favorite, I don't think, because they're, I like them both. I love driving. I haven't driven, obviously, in a while, so I'm very excited to go home and drive. Um, and that while I drive, I love listening to music and podcasts and, of course, jam sessions with the windows down. Uh, love it. Love creating content, videos. I love photography, taking pictures. Love autumn or the fall. Um, so I'm from New England, obviously. I've made that very clear at this point. Um, so if you know our prime season besides summer, of course, is fall. Don't get me started, but I'm gonna start. <laughs> the foliage, the food, cider donuts, apple picking, cornfields, hay rides. Fall fashion, don't get me started, it's the best. Don't argue with me, everyone knows this, it's the best fashion out there, it's so fun to shop for. The weather is perfect, it's like that crisp, cool wind, but it's like comfortable enough where you can like either wear a sweater or not and just be like, it, it's just nice. <laughs> yeah, so that was like a quick rundown on my favorite things, things I love, things I enjoy, and that was the last question. So I guess that's it. That's just a little bit about me, a little get to know me so you can kind of understand me and I don't know get to know who you're watching a little more um, like I said we have some new people joining us recently so hello welcome to my channel um, I hope you all enjoy the content that has been and the content that's coming a lot is going to be changing in my life so very soon so that includes going home doing long distance um, school, work, so many different things. So stick around for that. This video will be linked in every description box from here on out to replacing that welcome to my channel video just for anyone new or if you wanna refer back to this video. Um, but there's like fuzz floating around everywhere in the light, so sorry about that. But whenever you're watching this, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next video, guys.